Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. In the new semester 2, the first topic is chapter 1, Integration. Today, we will learn about the subtopic 1.1, Integration of Function. Before we go further, let me see what is the subtopic in the chapter 1. 1.1 integration of functions 1.2 integration of fun trigonometric functions 1.3 techniques of integration and 1.4 is definite integral without wasting our time let me see 1.1 integration of functions integration as anti differentiation let's say we have y and also f so when we differentiate y we can get dy dx and then if we integrate f we can get capital letter of f which is we call integration integration also we can say antiderivative the process of finding antiderivative is called integration. Well, we see the definition. A function f is called an antiderivative of a function f if the derivative of f is f. Differentiate d dx, capital letter of f, x plus c, we can get f prime x plus 0 is equal to fx. So, f capital letter is antiderivative of f. Small. Okay, let me see the example. If we differentiate with respect to x to x square, we can get the answer is 4x. So, when we revise it, integrate 4x dx, we can back get the question 2x square. Okay, let me see the next example. Differentiate 2x square plus 5 with respect to x. Also, the same answer, we can get this one is 4x. So, for this question, if we revise, integrate 4x dx, the answer is 2x square plus 5. Same case, if the question 2x square minus 10, we differentiate it with respect to x, so we can get this one is also for x. And then if we revise, we can get the answer is for x dx, so this one is 2x square minus 10. If you notice that, if we integrate for x for this question, we can get 2x square. For this one is, we get 2x square plus 5. And then, the differentiation just now is still same for x. Also, this one is for x. When we integrate, this one refer to the question, we get 2x square minus 10. Because all the value is constant, if we see that all the differentiation is, we get 4x. Therefore, in the generally... Okay, if we differentiate fx plus c, we get fx. And then if we revise it, integrate fx dx, we get fx plus c. And then c is for the value of constant. Okay, let me see. Differentiate fx plus c, we get fx. So, Integrate fx dx, we write fx plus c, which is c is a any constant. The indefinite integral of fx equals fx plus c. This one we call indefinite integral. Okay, let me see. This one, the symbol is we call integral sign. That's the symbol. fx integrand. F capital letter is antiderivative and C is arbitrary constant. 